Victor, is, uh, is Netflix still a hot stock uh, for Doe clients? Look, uh, you know, this thing is basically traded sideways for, for a long period of time. The answer is no. It's fallen out of favor, I think, with younger investors and I would say with uh, the investing community at whole. I mean, go back to July of 2020. This thing is traded in about a hundred dollar range from 480 up to 580. And this move today and after hours, while it's definitely going to be a shock for option traders who basically had the implied move of about six percent, this move in after hours is about double that. That effectively just brings us back down to the bottom of this range. Now, remember, last earnings report. Um, you know, there was enough positive news in there when you talk about not needing to go to the debt markets, being able to go free cash flow positive, as the gentleman mentioned. There was enough positive move in that report from three months ago to get the stock to 586, where we closed the day after earnings. And the point is, for three months now, with disappointing sub numbers, nothing in the way of, uh, you know, stock buybacks here today or anything in the way of password sharing, which Citigroup has said, even with the churn, could turn up another $6 billion in revenue. I just think, you know, it's not surprising you're seeing the massive reaction to the downside. There's not a lot to get excited about in a market that is already priced in a lot of good news. You got to show up with the goods and then some, it seems like, for this earnings. Quarter. Well, that's kind of a, if I can jump in for a second, that's kind of a refrain. If you follow this talk for any length of time, um, you know, that has been a familiar ref refrain and that hasn't really uh, changed it structurally what the company has been able to establish. Uh, so, uh, volatility is, is always going to be in play if you talk about Netflix, but uh, you've got to look at four or five years down the road when the company uh, begins to tap into more of the addressable international market. Uh, remember, we're talking about 1.5 billion addressable households in a lot of international markets where the penetration is still well mm -hmm. below um, you know, uh, what we're seeing in, in some of the more mature markets. So uh, all in all, I think um, you know we, we just have to uh, you know, keep our eyes on the prize, you know, stay patient. And as we cycle through this volatility, I do believe that things are going to start to uh, normalize. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.